These high numbers come as Rhode Island continues to increase its testing capacity. And a new testing site in Providence opened just this morning. That's where we find 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt. And Brandon, this site is owned by a private company. Yeah, Shannon and Kim, that makes it a little bit different than the other testing sites that we have been covering. CIC Health is allowing for anyone to make an appointment for a test online. It's open to the public and it turns results in roughly 24 hours. We want to make testing through CIC Health as widely available to people and meet them where their needs are. A private company offering public tests with the goal of making getting one less of a hassle. It's just the latest result of Rhode Island's effort to increase the daily testing capacity statewide. And currently, we can schedule about 250 people a day, but we do have the ability to scale up if the demand is there. CIC Health runs all of Vermont's testing locations. The company says Rhode Island reached out to them, asking if they would set up shop here. 12 News has brought you reports over the last few weeks, focusing on the state's push to double testing by the end of this week. The Department of Health saying it's in an effort to pinpoint outbreaks before they spread. Really going to try to push out and um, make testing as accessible as possible and as convenient as possible. New sites have popped up across the state over the last two weeks. This site in Smithfield, McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket, now offering drive up tests. Even the Dunkin' Donuts Center in Providence, now hosting walk up rapid testing, yielding results in 15 minutes. As for this location, it's a public private partnership working with the community, too. We're working with the government of Rhode Island and a number of businesses to spec out what would be needed in order to build testing programs to allow them to uh, really get back to work uh, more than they've been able to, to thus far. So as for this location, it is important to note the tests here are not free. You do sign up online like some of the other sites that we have been covering. Tests here cost $80 a piece. Again, they turn those results in 24 hours. They're not yet taking insurance. The company's saying it's just a quick and convenient way to get a test. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News. Tonight, new data shows just how widespread COVID-19 is in Rhode Island. I'm Shannon Heggie. And I'm Kim Kaluni. And one pandemic expert says Rhode Island has the highest case rate on the planet right now. Now. And a new report from the White House Coronavirus Task Force obtained by CBS News ranks Rhode Island second in the country behind only Minnesota for new cases per 100,000 people. Now the health department says those numbers are based in part on all the testing that's being done. 12 News reporter Brandon Truitt joins us live from Providence to tell us about a new testing site that opened today and how it's different from the others. Brandon? Well, Shannon, Rhode Island is currently leading the nation in the number of daily tests per capita. The state says that routine testing is really critical for them to be able to pinpoint any hot spots, and that is why centers like these keep opening up. No line, no wait at the newest testing site in Rhode Island. I think this is a very convenient location. This site at District Hall in downtown Providence isn't run by the state, but a private company, CIC Health. They are taking appointments, roughly 250 a day, with results in 24 hours. The company currently runs all of Vermont's testing and has locations in Massachusetts, too. And recently we got a call from Rhode Island asking us to come and help here, um, beginning with building some public testing sites, but also working to try to get more Rhode Islanders back to work. It's just the latest effort by the state to increase the daily testing capacity. Governor Gina Raimondo is sitting down with R. Kim Kalunian, saying she wants the ability to do more than 26,000 tests a day by the end of this week. We cannot just keep doing the same thing. So we're trying new techniques really to get more people tested quickly identified as positive and quickly into isolation. Over the past few weeks, we've seen new sites open like here at McCoy Stadium in Pawtucket and a walk-in rapid testing location at the Dunk, all in an effort to make these long lines and hefty wait times a thing of the past with the help of public-private partnerships like this. And we want to make testing through CIC Health as widely available to people and meet them where their needs are. So it's important to note that anyone can sign up for a test here. You do it online, but they're not free. It's $80 a piece. The company here is saying it is a way to get a test quickly and pretty hassle-free. Live in Providence, Brandon True at 12 News.